Well, finally, uh, one of these police departments started investigating uh, these repeaters in, uh, in Fox News. I think his name is uh, Tucker or something like that uh, for putting out just misinformation and basically just propaganda. They are, um, uh, Fox News is actually uh, tampering with the photos and making everything look differently than what really is. And that is just propaganda. And the United States Constitution allow you to, uh, how can I say, say whatever you say, but do not howl or do not scream or do not shout fire in a theater. And that is what they're doing. They're inciting people by the, uh, the tampering with the information to, to, uh, to raise themselves against the United States of America and uh, and who own this uh, this industry on these corporations are not born in the United States of America and they they do not have the interest of the United States of America the people of the United States of America and it's all of them it's not just Fox News it's all of them and I'm going to give you an example example how it works they found this sheriff in Atlanta saying that the killing, the, 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 the shooting of a running, a sleepy guy on a car in the back is justified. <laughs> now analyze what just, I just said. The shooting of a guy sleeping on the parking lot inside his car drunk as skunk probably is justified and this is a sheriff now why they do that is because what they doing is inciting inciting a fight in between the police police unions basically and the government the people's government and that is what is happening. And I've been saying this now for quite a while since 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 the since the uh, the the mayor of Miami went after the police. And what what is going to happen next? I'm going to tell you. The numbers of uh, uh, crime is going to go higher. It's going to go up, and crime is going to go up because how that's how they do it. If you. If you need a police, police union, if you need, if you need a police force or 34,000 people like is in, uh, in New York City, listen, 34,000 people is an army. <laughs> and these people have agents all over the world. I mean, just like the CIA or like FBI. And this is a city. This is not a country. So that is what is happening. When, when, when a mayor, whoever it is, I don't care if he's the worst mayor in the whole world, it still was put there by the people of the United States of America, by his citizens. When he walked in, in a, on a police parade and they turned their back to him, that is a coup d'etat. That is saying, I will not do what you tell me. You no longer control me. And that is what it's all about. And CNN and ABC and Fox and all that, they are inciting that. They are showing, or they are trying to condition the police force to go against their own government. And that I have a problem with. Because it's not the training. It's like Mr. President Trump just signed a big piece of paper out there telling how the police to do their job. I don't know, but in my city, we spend a lot of money teaching the police how to do their job. Not only that, they doing an excellent job. But I'm going to tell you something else. In Houston, Texas, Mr. Acevedo in front of the whole world, in CNN, I think it was CNN, <laughs> told the President of the United States of America, 
to shut up. Now, I consider Mr. President Trump a fatty liver disease man that is being molesting women the whole his whole life because he not he cannot get laid unless he pays for it and just marry his courts. But that is my opinion. I am a citizen of the United States of America. I can say whatever the hell I want. But when a police force general or cacique <laughs> is telling the head of my government to shut up, I do have a problem with that because that is a coup d'etat. That is telling him, I will not follow you. And we put Mr. Trump out there in, in power and we put every single mayor of every single city in power because that is how we govern ourselves. And that is what CNN and ABC and all that, all these people are doing. They are, they are putting a division in our government. They are telling our greatest to revolt against our government and to say no to them. The citizens can do that. But the government officials should follow. So I continue to call for the police, every city, every state, uh, the federal government to investigate these people. You rank and file, police force can do it. You can do it. Go up there and investigate these people, who these people are, what the interests are, and start following the money. What is happening in Spain? They're doing the same in Spain. I go out there in Italy and they do the same. I'll turn the TV in Bloomberg in Italy. <laughs> Analyze that. So when CNN put up there a sheriff they, they found to say that it's okay to shoot somebody in the back and then they put the uh, mayor of the city of Atlanta saying no, that is what they're doing. They're conditioning you. They show you the fight. But they are not fixing it. Not today. They should only put the facts up there. And they are not. They, it's an opinion that they are creating in our heads. And they call it themselves opinion television now. Opinion television. No, television should not be about opinions. You know, if you have a, a news news agency it should be about giving us correct information not their opinion I can create that opinion but not them so go out there and and people uh, pay attention to what they telling you and why the reason the why and protect your mayors and protect you you police even from the unions because they can be very well utilized we I mean I went to a cert class and the guy who is giving the class, the head of the fire department, is telling me in front of the whole class <laughs> that their idea of dealing with the crisis is put every in every corner a uniform person. A uniform person, doesn't matter which uniform, it could be the post office. To show the people of the United States of America that the government is still functioning. And I asked him, where you come up with this idea? And he said, from the English. <laughs> Literally, I mean, I'm not making this thing up. Go out there and check it out. In Lago, Texas. From the English. And they learned that after the, uh, the motors exploded that train at, in London. Everyone, everyone went crazy. Killed like hundreds of people some number like that hey I'm not making this thing up they hear they conditioning the best that we have they are completely making them something that we have never been followers so now our leaders are just followers because they follow that TV crap they stop following and start leading and start fighting your own family they start fearing your own institutions those institutions are yours. You don't have to fear them. Saludos to the United States of America.
you are not an American. You are no English. You are no white. You are no black. You are not a color. Stop color coding people. And let's create the 51st state of the United States of America, the state of Oceania, where everyone is included, including those little islands around the world that belong to the people of the United States of America. And the people walking on those lands are United States of American nationals. Saludos.